uh, try to maintain a sense of being an organizer, to create space, which is really an obsession for me. And because I think about myself as a public intellectual, as a public scholar, it's really important that this be embedded in community. I have two kind of narrative of what brought me to the new school. I have the romanticized narrative about, you know, the appling for knowledge and do a PhD, etc. And the less romanticized narrative will be, I fall in the trap of black girl boredom. And as I am an organizer, uh, the new school came naturally, the school that have so many organizers, so many links to social movement, critical theory. So I felt that it would be a good fit. My PhD is about a black political space in France. So I'm studying black radical group in France and how the occupying space, uh, material space, but also symbolic space. When I was in France, I created a review in 2000. 14, uh, called Assiégé, translated in, in English la, as Besiege. It's a review on racism, capitalism, and cis patriarchy. Everything is laid and done by women, queer, and trans of color in France. So I created the review, we uh, launched uh, several issues, and after, because I was leaving France, I stepped out and I went to Haiti, I proposed this review, this uh, Haitian anthology review that uh, gets launched every year to uh, the Haitian feminist organization, uh, Neges Maron. I'm also a Melon Fellow. The Melon community really shift my work and with that, this uh, fellowship and without this community, I don't think that I will have be able to finish my PhD in four years because it really has been a fast track. And I met so many people that work on fear that is close to me, but in the fashion, in a at person, and it expand my view. And I don't think I, w I would have met them without the, the fellowship. I'm also teaching at Lane College in the fall 2023 semester and really exciting class called Black to the Future, Race and Gender in Science Fiction. And it's really fascinating to see how knowledge makes you think differently. Science fiction, the future and also the politic of imagination is really something important for me as an academic but also as an organizer because it's not enough to just be against what exists but to be against what exists is also a way to propose something that could exist. So the politic of imagination is really something important in black feminist thought, in black radical thought. The other part that's really interesting is see students go over a movie like Anger Game, they watch so many times and watch them while reading scholarly work and see how scholarly work can be applied to piece of media. They say, oh, I used to love this book and now when I reread it with all the knowledge I had for the four years of undergrad, I'm like, no, no, everything is wrong. So I think that really fascinating when they have a, oh, okay, moment. <laughs>